Hey, this is Lee again. I want to do a quick video on a very important subject. A high school student contacted me and said that a teacher is teaching that Allah, the Muslim God, is the God of Christian and Jewish people. Not true. That's not true. I'm going to show you why. Exodus 3, 13 to 15, King James Version, Moses goes to the burning bush and Moses asked this question. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel... And shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. They shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? He wants to know, What shall I tell them? God answers. Now this is very important. Listen to this. And God said to Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. There you go. And God said moreover. Now listen. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. And this is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Not Allah, I am that I am. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. That is who God is. Now the Muslims will try to come... A little bit into accepting Jesus they'll say he was a prophet and but they reject him as the Son of God completely I, I've read the Quran some of the Quran and I know <laughs> what it says they they but they believe that the teachings of Trinity the Father Son and Holy Spirit is blasphemy I mean severe blasphemy and it teaches that God has no son it's, it's ridiculous but yet they're trying to push this on our students, our kids in the schools. We need to teach our kids to understand who God is, what He is, and that He is not Allah. Allah is not Him. <laughs> Remember when Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, the Lord's Prayer, Our Father which art in heaven. Father. Jesus says His Father. Then there's the Great Commission. He said, Go ye into all the world, teaching and baptizing, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Jesus made it very clear. Our Father, there is a Father. His name is I Am that I Am. He's the only one. He does not go by Allah. Allah is not in the Scriptures. That's a bunch of foolishness. Don't buy into it. Teach your kids who God is. Jesus, when He, he died on the cross, He rose the third day. Spent 40 days with the brethren and the sisters. And then he ascended into heaven. When he was being taken up on the clouds of glory, he, they looked up gazing into heaven. Two angels came and said, Why stand you here gazing into heaven? This same Jesus that you see taken up will return in like manner. <laughs> and there's only one God. His name is I am that I am. If you are teaching that Allah is the same because you've compromised, you need to repent and tell God you're sorry and to say, the, I'm, I got it mixed up. Allah is not God. The name Allah was given by man, not by God himself. That's my video for today. I love you with all my heart. There's going to be more things that people try to come up with to confuse the understanding of God's word. They're going to try to take the King James Version Bible out and try to to keep us from that and think that every religion's good. It's not true. There's only one God, only one religion, one faith, one baptism. May God bless you. Hold fast to the truth. We'll be back soon with another video. Pray for these kids in school that have to deal with teachers teaching a false doctrine. They're teaching Allah is God. They're teaching homosexuality is acceptable. They're teaching every ungodly thing and leaving morals behind and planning these things in our kids. <laughs> I love you with all my heart. Have a great day. Stop back often. Like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye.